Hey guys, it's Robin and today I have some awesome new pops. While I was away in Kansas City, it was the day I was leaving as a matter of fact, it was the kickoff of Comic Con over in San Diego and the release of all the summer exclusive pops from Funko. It was not easy to get some of these. I had to, um, the, the stores were breaking and I kept hitting refresh in my cart because you were able to order some online this year, which was really cool. Last year I had gone to the stores really early and got everything I wanted, but because I was traveling, it was really crazy and difficult, but I was able to finally order stuff from Barnes & Noble by placing things in my cart one at a time. And I also got something from Hot Topic. Um, I have Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them from the Harry Potter universe. I have the Purple Pie Man, who is the first of the Strawberry Shortcake series. I have, this one I got from Hot Topic, Malcolm Merlin from Arrow, played by my favorite John Barrowman. So excited about him. And I just got this one in the mail too today. Um, I, I wasn't going to get her first, but I was like, she's too funny not to get. Um, it's Violet Beauregard from... Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Violet, you're turning Violet. She's amazing. She's a giant blueberry. Um, and I also got, this box is opening up on me, the three little creatures from the Harry Potter universe. This was from Barnes & Noble's as well. It is the Cornish Pixie, the Mandrake, and the Grindylo. And you can't see them that well. Maybe there it's a bit better. Um, so, I'm going to get these guys out of their packaging. Let's start with Violet, who's turning Violet. So they started releasing all the different characters from Willy Wonka. Have you guys ever seen the movie, the original um, creepy 1970s movie? It is so awesome. It is one of my favorites. It's so weird. Even the packaging reflects the weirdness. Um, I really, I don't want a lot of these characters, but I would like Veruca Salt with her golden eggs and Penny. Oh. It's going to be annoying right now. Um, so Violet is turning Violet because she did not listen to the advice of one Mr. Willy Wonka. And I think she ate the everlasting gobstopper, right? And she was eating a whole meal. <laughs> and the dessert was blueberry pie. And then she started turning into a blueberry. And the Oompa Loompas had to take her down to... Um, get juiced and she looks a little like sadness I think <laughs> well she's a lot bluer but they're just she's round and blue and I just think it's so funny oh my goodness I could take a lot of funny pictures with my little Oompa Loompa Pop and poor Violet like rolling her around I think that would be amazing she looks so cool oh my gosh I love her hair she even has like a little violet purple um there you go barrette in her hair she's so cute I love that line. Violet, you're turning violet. So, speaking of purple people, here is the Purple Pie Man from Strawberry Shortcake. I am such a huge fan of everything Strawberry Shortcake. Can't wait to collect all of these pops. But, you guys, I'm a little disappointed in... Oh my gosh, even this packaging is so cute. It looks like um, the old Strawberry Shortcake boxes. Um, I'm a little disappointed about something though. Um, I opened this up and I, I heard about this from some people and also online. <clears throat> um, the smell is supposed to be, it's supposed to be scented, but the scent is really weird. It's kind of, I don't know what he's supposed to smell like, but it has like a soapy, perfumey um, scent. And also this little strip on his hat is very sticky. I'm guessing, yeah, that's the, where the scent is coming from. It's almost like an air freshener, I guess. So I'm going to guess that scent is going to fade or that strip is going to get very dusty. So he's going to have to stay in the box and I really don't like to keep boxes. Um, but he's so cute. He is just so adorable. I love, love the little pie. Can you see that there? I put the camera so far away today. Um, and he has this little splatter on his apron. And, um, you know, he's the bad guy, villainy dude, in the Strawberry Shortcake universe. And it's really cute. He comes with this little buddy here, Berry Bird. 
who looks so annoyed. He probably looks so annoyed because the purple pie man smells so bad. Yeah, he's super cute though. I love that little pout on his face. So yeah, I think he's angry that purple pie man is so smelly and he has to stay in this packaging with him forever and ever and ever. Poor little dude. <laughs> Here is from the Arrow universe. <laughs> Malcolm Merlin, who is awesome. And do you see who else is on that box there? Speedy, who I also just recently got at, um, I think I got her at FYE. Did not know she was going to be popping. I saw her there on the shelf. On a shelf that says new. So I bought her. Um, Malcolm Merlin is so cool. Very cool. So he's got his black arrow is uh the quiver on the back so cool the bow the hair he still has two hands spoiler sorry um his really shiny boots i want to compare him to um my jack harkness pops see if they don't look anything alike like this hair is totally different <laughs> it's kind of i don't know but i guess it still kind of looks like him something about it that's very Barrowman, I think. And I'm just such a big fan of Barrowman. I love his character on the show. He is just one of those villains that you love to hate, but you still love them. Um, lots of great detail, like on his, over his shoulder, there's like all kinds of little rivets and stuff. It's super, super detailed. And um, it's just awesome. I don't know if you can see the texture on that. It's really cool. He is amazing. Next up, I'm really, really excited about this movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Who's playing him? He's game. Oh, Eddie Redmayne, who was in, um, he's been in a lot of things. He was in that movie about Stephen Hawking. He was in Les Mis. And now he's going to be Newt Scamander. There's a book you can read called um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling, which is like a supplemental book that she created um, to Harry Potter series. And they based the movie on that. So, um, here is Newt, and he looks amazing. Love the crazy hair. He's got his little trunk here, and I have a feeling there's some crazy stuff going on. He's got the wand at the ready. He is layered. And what's really cool about this story is that, um, he's going to come to America. So this is the first Harry Potter story based in the U.S., and, um, there's a lot of stuff on Pottermore right now, but the, you can get sorted into your school, your American version of Hogwarts. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I'm looking forward to finding out more about that soon. Um, I just love it. I think he looks really cool. He's wearing a black and yellow scarf, so I'm guessing that means he's a Hufflepuff, which I don't know. I guess that that's interesting. We'll find out. I can't wait to find out more about him, though, um, because the book... The book is not really, um, it's more like an encyclopedia of different creatures, I think. I read it a while ago, so I'm not really remembering. It's not really a story story. So they wrote the story new, create a new story for um, the movie, which I'm very excited about. And I just read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, so I just love all this new Harry Potter stuff. Um, it's very exciting. Um, and they also... <gasps> Oh, I gotta get Neville out to hang out with this mandrake. <laughs> there are Cornish Pixie, um, a mandrake, and a Grindelow. So let's see if I can remember where all these characters came from. Um, okay. So, and I don't know if it's necessarily the first references to all of them. Look at that art. That is so cool. And I love that these are the little minifigures. So we have mandrakes, and mandrakes they learned about early on, maybe in book one in um, herbology class and I think when you when they pull them out of the pots they scream like crazy um, and as you all know Neville is the expert in herbology so I'm gonna have to put him with Neville Longbottom I think that would be really cool he looks so creepy and like these little roots are hanging out oh you know who would be funny to hang him out to have him hang out with would be um, Groot as well that would be kind of funny um, so yeah I think it's um, Sorcerer's Stone, where we first meet Mandrakes. It could be Chamber of Secrets, but I think it's Sorcerer's Stone. Cornish Pixies. I think these were in, um, Gilderoy Lockhart had set some of these free in class, is what I'm thinking happened. 
those teeth are so creepy and it has these cool little wings and I really love the color on this guy that's awesome and Penny now is over here sniffing at my pops and then we have a Grindylo which these are so cool and um Grindylos I know I'm pretty sure there were Grindylos in um book four I'm pretty sure there was a Grindylo in Goblet of Fire when they were in the water. Maybe they had to escape them. And also, they're in the Hank Green song, you know, about how a Grindylo needs water. And I think it's awesome. The detail and the faces on these guys are all really, really great. They're just so awesome. So I have the three little fantastical beasts from Harry Potter. I have another fantastical beast right over here, Miss Penny Pickle. Um, Newt Scamander from the Harry Potter verse. And then we have um, Malcolm Merlin, Violet Beauregard, and then we have the very funky smelling purple pie man and his very sad little berry bird. Comment down below and let me know which ones are your favorite. I really do love these guys. Oh, it smells weird. Some people like that kind of smell but I really like this would make me sneeze if I have to smell it and it actually is giving me a headache holding it up close like that um but I really think he looks so awesome and maybe because he's early enough they might make some changes for the other strawberry shortcake characters fingers crossed um I mean they're also awesome Violet is really cool Newt is really cool I mean anybody that John Barrowman plays is really cool. Let me know which one is your favorite. Hope that you will hit that subscribe button and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you again real soon. Bye. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and hit that subscribe button.